we needed a carrying case for the Nintendo Switch, so I decided to see if I could make one myself. I started by making the top and the bottom of the case. I cut two plastic pieces to act as a protective layer inside the case, and I cut them slightly bigger than the outer size of the switch. This will also be the shape and size of the case. I then cut the fabric layers for the top and bottom, and first up are two layers of quilt batting that are the same size as the plastic pieces. Then I made a pattern for the other pieces by adding 1.5 cm of seam allowance all the way around the sides. For the outside layer I cut a red and a white piece of water resistant fabric. For the inside I cut two layers of soft fleece fabric. The top and the bottom are each a sandwich of the outer water resistant layer, the protective plastic, the quilt batting and the inner fleece layer. Before assembling the top and bottom, I added straps and pockets to the inside layers. For the bottom piece, I cut four pieces of elastic, which will be connected in the middle by Velcro. I used a lighter to finish the edges of the elastic, and then I folded over a small edge on each of the pieces and stitched it down. I then stitched pieces of Velcro to the elastic. I checked where I wanted the straps to be placed and stitched them down to the sides of the fleece. For the top I wanted a place to hold the controller straps, so I cut another piece of elastic, folded over the edges and stitched them down, and then I attached the elastic to the fleece. I also want pockets to hold 6 game cartridges. I figured out the configuration and I cut 2 pieces of elastic. After folding the edges over and stitching them down, I pinned the pieces on the fleece and sewed along the bottom and sides. I then marked the size of the individual pockets and stitch lines to separate them. Now I'm ready to assemble the top and the bottom. To keep the plastic and the batting in place while I make the rest of the case, I'm using a temporary spray adhesive that I have left over from when I made a quilt. I sprayed the layers and sandwiched them all together. First the fleece, then the batting, the plastic, and finally the water resistant fabric. I then sewed all the way around to keep everything in place. To make the sides, I started by adding side pieces to the zipper. I cut two 5 cm wide pieces of black water resistant fabric that are just as long as the zipper. I then placed the zipper right sides together on one of the strips and sold all the way along the edge. I flipped the fabric over and top stitched it down on the zipper to make it lie nice and flat. I used pinking shears to finish the edges of the fabric to prevent it from fraying. I then repeated these steps on the other side of the zipper. I cut a piece of black fleece and a piece of black water resistant fabric of the same size. These pieces will form the back of the case, with the zipper forming the rest of the sides. As an extra buffer I'm adding a layer of fleece to the inside of the sides. I cut two strips of fleece that are 5 cm wide and can reach all the way around the case. I folded them in half and stitched them down close to the edge. I then placed them on the inside of the zipper, so that they completely cover the teeth, and stitched them in place. For the back, I put the outside piece of fabric right sides together with the zipper and stitched it down. Remember to go slow when you sew across the zipper to make sure that you don't damage your needle or your machine. I then placed the fleece right sides together with the inside of the zipper and stitched it down in the same place. I cut off the excess fabric and zipper. I measured the outside of the case pattern to make the sides to size. I marked the correct length and cut the zipper to the right size. I then folded the ends of the back inside and placed the zipper end in between, making a full circle. I stitched it down close to the edge. Now I'm ready to assemble the case. I used clips to attach the side to the top, right sides together. Along the way it started pulling itself into its 3D shape. 
I sewed all the way around, following the 3D shape as best as I could. Now it's really starting to look like something. I folded the nylon binding around the inside seam to cover it up and to give the case some strength. I sewed it in place all the way around. This step was pretty tricky, since the case was really holding on to that 3D shape now. So I went slow and I made sure I sewed through the binding on both sides. The test fit showed it was all looking good, so I moved on to attaching the bottom in the same way. First I clipped the pieces together and sewed them in place. And then I added the binding. The clips are really working great here, since there's no way I could have been able to stick pins through all these thick layers of fabric. Now I can flip the case the right side out. And it's done! And that's how I made my Nintendo Switch case. Or actually my husband's Nintendo Switch case. But he's very happy with it. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, then leave me a like or a comment down below. And of course remember to subscribe if you want to see my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.